Hi there, my name is Stefano Mancilli from the Puget Sound Institute and the purpose of this presentation is to provide a brief review of the representation of phytoplankton and primary production in the Salish Sea model and provide a reference with these slides to key documents um, for further reading. The Salish Sea model um, development is an ongoing effort and you can learn more about that at the uh, Salish Sea Modeling Center website at the link um, on this page. Um, I'll speak specifically to two versions uh, of the model and refer you to links here for further information. Um, the links at the top are specific to the research model, um, which includes um, phytoplankton, algae, eelgrass, and zooplankton interactions. And the papers that are linked here provide the progression uh, on these. In particular, the 2001A paper um, includes a hindcast and forecast uh, of these interactions with climate change um, for 2000 and the year 2095. And the links at the bottom um, are for the more widely used applied model um, for the Puget Sound Nutrient Reduction Project application by the state. And these resources listed are provided um, from the Department of Ecology and I'll cover some of these um, further in this presentation. In the earlier applied model, phytoplankton algal groups are representative of dianoflagellates and diatoms. There's the inclusion of a loss rate, um, which is critical uh, for a connection to the sediment module, which is shown here in orange and brown um, at the bottom of the figure on the right hand side. Um, and that's relevant for the role of phytoplankton in biogeochemical cycling. Also important to this is the inclusion and parameterization of light and nutrient uptake controls on algal growth and biomass. Uh, key updates in the later research model include a change in grazing from a constant predation term to um, directly simulating zooplankton explicitly and the interactions, um, as well as having heterogeneity and turbidity and also benthic primary production in the inclusion of a submerged aquatic vegetation um, component. Validation across the key parameters relevant to phytoplankton primary productivity dynamics and biogeochemistry has been done systematically across all the model versions and uh, application development. And uh, this has been included here uh, for a comparison for the year 2014 error statistics and skill scores, as well as 2013 to 17 run. Um, there are no dramatic changes in the comparative root mean square error or other measures of model skill across these. Um, the Salish C model has fairly consistently shown a root mean square error of, of dissolved oxygen at less than one milligram per litre, uh, temperature at less than one degree, and um, salinity at less than 1.2 PSU. Um, additional skill testing was done when the model was run for the longer period. Um, these are noted separately on the third column on the right hand side as they needed to further relax the calibration that was required to run the model for the first time for this uh, longer time period 2013 to 2017. Diving into the validation that's been done for the model applied by the state in the Puget Sound Nutrient Reduction um, application for, first of all, looking at gross primary production. On the left, we have the annualized measure to model comparison of um, gross primary production at three locations where the data is available. And these are the only locations that are published uh, with long-term data sets. It shows an example here with these annualized figures of a near doubling um, of primary production over that three year period, 1999 to 2001, um, with the 2008 data showing the closest um, to results in, uh, from the model that is to 2019 measured data. Um, on the right, we have the entire time series for that um, combined uh, daily data set which shows the wide temporal as well as um, spatial variability, um, spatial variability across these sites. The colored dots are 
showing the three sites and there's a comparative model output showing with the lines with the same color. Um, it's worth noting that there's a change there from milligrams um, in the table to grams here in the figure. Um, note that the both the model and the observed values for West Point in the, in the main basin shown in gray are higher than the other two stations there. Observed peaks recorded um, at all three sites in 1999 through 2001 were almost two times higher than the model value in 2008, uh, which was noted in the publication as 11.3 grams uh, compared to 6.8 grams of carbon per meter squared per day. Lastly, a brief overview on sensitivity analysis. Um, sensitivity analysis has been done uh, iteratively on a number of the modules and parameters important to phytoplankton algal dynamics. Uh, earlier sensitivity analysis that was done by the state for the applied model um, for algal and organic particle settling rates, nitrification and mineralization. Um, with all of these, they were largely left the same in terms of parameterization um, published in Kangon Car 2018. Um, and you can see the link at the bottom uh, left here for an earlier presentation and discussion at the sediment workshop um, on those specifically. Further sensitivity analysis has been done um, by Ahmed 2019 for the state. Um, and that's in the bottom right hand corner, that link, particularly Appendix E1. And these were undertaken specifically for phytoplankton dynamics and the role in biogeochemical cycling. And these are listed here at the top. These include aeration coefficient, um, algal kinetics, um, in particular light limitation and the half saturation of nitrogen uptake, uh, the fraction of particular organic um, matter due to predation, and then the settling rates of diatoms and dianoflagellates. Uh, for ease of reference, we've included here those tables um, from, from those documents um, that are linked in the bottom right hand corner. And these really just show the breadth of the, the testing that's been undertaken. Uh, table 8 on the left summarises the current as well as um, the sensitivity values that were used in testing. <clears throat> and uh, we look forward to discussing this further in the upcoming workshop and thank you very much for your time.